Hello everyone and welcome back to Propway. I 3D printed this absolutely gorgeous Spider-Man helmet using the Anchor Make M5 printer. And one of the best parts about it is that it required no finishing on the prints. Yes, this was pulled straight off the printer, I glued in some magnets and I colored in some black with Sharpie. I mean look at how clean that is. The details are just... Now before we jump into this super fun build and talk more about the amazing M5 printer, I want to give a huge shout out to KA Cosplay Tech for the literally flawless 3D file of this Spider-Man helmet. Go check them out. So the holiday season is right around the corner and I know a lot of us makers are trying to figure out what we're going to be giving others. Since I don't have a ton of time to hand make everything, I figured why not put my fastest 3D printer to work, the Anchor Make M5. You may recognize this printer from one of my previous videos. Yes, I used the same printer to make that flash helmet. And today, we're going to be making a Spidey helmet that I will be giving to a friend of mine for the holidays. So if you are looking specifically for an unboxing and assembly overview, make sure to check that video as well. The link will be in the description below. So let's get started. First, we have to import the files into the Anchor Make Slicer, which personally is one of my favorite slicers to use. It's perfect for beginners because it allows you to print in easy mode, which basically picks all the options for you. If you're a bit more experienced, then you can use expert mode, which will give you control over all of the options. I personally like to get things printed quickly, so I mostly use easy mode, which is fast and, well, easy. I started off with a back piece and oriented it in a way that would require the least amount of support material. Now the best part about the M5 is its insane speed. I printed this part at Anchor Make's normal speed setting, which is 250 millimeters per second. For comparison, an average 3D printer off the shelf will print at about 60 millimeters per second. With Anchor Make, you also have the option to print at fast speed, which is a whopping 500 millimeters per second. I opted to print at the normal speed just to make sure all the fine fabric-like details showed up. And as you can see, the print quality is just exceptional. So once that back piece is finished, it's super easy to just pop it right off the PEI print bed. It's quick and easy to set up the next print, especially when I can just send the file to my printer remotely with just a click of a button. And the integrated camera on the printer allows me to check up on the print directly from the app. There's even error detection to notify you when a print may not be going so smoothly. Now we can start printing the main front of the helmet. Once this part is finished printing, I'll get a notification on my phone telling me it's done. And again, pop that sucker right off the print bed, remove any support materials, and start the next print. The last pieces to print are the black frames for the lenses, which I did use the fast speed setting for, and I was able to print a single lens in just one hour. This M5 printer really is a set it and forget it type of machine. Super user friendly, I just absolutely love it. Now continuing with the build. So we have all of our pieces printed for the helmet. Now we can start assembling. First thing I'm gonna do is take a black marker. You can use a permanent marker like I did, but I think a paint marker might have worked better in this situation. And all we're going to do is start filling in those webs on the mask. Once that's done, you'll notice that there are some indents along the edges of the mask. These are for magnets and will allow the helmet to close around your head. So I had some of these magnets laying around my shop. They don't fit perfectly, but we'll make it work. And I just use some super glue and press those tightly into the indents. Now 
While that glue dries, we'll work on the lenses. Here, I have some white mesh that is see-through, and this will act perfectly as a lens. I just cut out the shape to match the inside of the 3D printed frame, and then glue that in with some more super glue. You'll notice the frames also have indents for magnets, so we'll glue some in place there as well. So now I'm going to do a quick test fit to make sure the prints were scaled correctly. And as you can see, the helmet fits just fine. Now that all the magnets are glued in place, we can snap the helmet pieces together, and voila, we have a finished 3D printed Spider-Man helmet. So there it is everyone, this has been an incredibly fun build. I cannot stress enough, the AnchorMake M5 printer and the AnchorMake slicer made this project so much easier. With extremely fast printing speeds, ease of use, and just a beautiful overall aesthetic, I cannot recommend this printer enough. If you're like me and want a machine to just pump out prints for gift giving this holiday season, look no further than the AnchorMake M5. I can't wait to give this helmet to my friend next month, I know they're gonna love it. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and make sure to subscribe for another Spider-Man tutorial that's not 3D printed coming to my channel very soon. As always, thank you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.